In this video, I will describe how neurons communicate. Long-range communications between cells in humans and other animals are performed by neurons signaling to each other at the synapsis. A neuron consists of the cell body, which holds the nucleus, the dendrites, the axon, myelin sheaths, axon terminals, and the synapsis. The synaptic cleft separates the axon terminal and the dendrite. In the synapse, neurotransmitters stored in synaptic vesicles in the presynaptic neuron are released through exocytosis when the electrical potential in the presynaptic neuron changes. After being released, the neurotransmitters bind themselves to the transmitter-gated sodium ion channels in the postsynaptic cell membrane. Then they open the channels, causing a sodium ion flow that changes the potential of the membrane in the postsynaptic cell. When the membrane of a neuron is depolarized, sodium ion channels open, letting a few sodium ions into the neuron. This depolarizes the membrane more, opening more sodium ion channels that further depolarize it. Also, to speed up the lowering of the membrane potential, potassium ion channels open, allowing potassium ions to flow out of the neuron. The depolarization of one section of the membrane is sufficient to depolarize surrounding areas, causing them to go through the same process. The colored points on the axon represent the corresponding lines on the timeline of electrical stimulation. Thus, a ripple effect is caused as the peak moves along the entire membrane. This is called an action potential. The action potential moves along the membrane without getting weaker as it goes. This is why it is so essential for long-range communication in the body. The synapse causes muscles to contract in similar ways to how it transmits signals to other neurons. When an action potential reaches the axon terminal, it causes the release of neurotransmitters. The neurotransmitters open receptors in the muscle membrane. This sets off another action potential that ripples over the entire membrane. This action potential causes the opening of calcium ion release channels in the sarcoplasmic reticulum. The increase in calcium ions causes the contraction of the myofibrils in the cell. The synaptic pathways between neurons enable the brain and the rest of the central nervous system to communicate with cells throughout the body.